Kourou, French Guiana. At the European spaceport, two more Galileo satellites are being prepared in the clean room dedicated to the Galileo program. These facilities are no luxury, as ESA and the Galileo program have had a very busy year, with a massive output and a good pace to keep up. But all the hard work was definitely worth the effort. 2015 is a great year for the Galileo. A launch in March, a launch in September, a third launch in December, six satellite launch in nine months. The uh, Galileo deployment is now going full speed ahead, and next year we'll have uh, complete, not a completion, but a sufficient number of satellites to um, achieve tests at uh, high level. So it's very good for the program, this is launched today. What is also very good for the program is that in the course of only one year, the number of Galileo satellites in orbit has doubled. And now one third of the constellation is up and running, with the ground segment also deployed worldwide. And the program is on track. Once Galileo's sat 11 and 12 have been fully checked and are operational in orbit, first services should start by the end of 2016. Now, after the successful in-orbit validation phase of the system, ESA is taking full advantage of a return of experience based on several years of operations. 2015 also marks the historic milestone of the 10th anniversary of the launch of the GOVA satellite on the 28th of December 2005. GOV stands for Galileo in Orbit Validation Element. It was the first test satellite for the Galileo program proving the quality of the first navigation payload built in Europe, and since then, ESA and Europe have come a long way. Uh, in the last 10 years, we have had uh, six operational launches, plus two Jove, eight launches, 14 satellite launches, a ground segment deployed all over the world, an excellent performance demonstrated in March 13 with the first positioning, EGNOS now operational and ready to augment Galileo on top of what uh, EGNOS does already with GPS, so 10 years demonstrating that Europe joins the club of the powers mastering navigation. Things are going well. Galileo and EGNOS are perfect examples of Europe's expertise in the technology field, with Galileo providing users worldwide with publicly owned high-quality satellite navigation and a timing platform, and EGNOS now being implemented in air traffic management for civil aviation. ESA and the European Commission must now prepare for the provision of Galileo services for the citizens in Europe and beyond. Ten years after the launch of the first satellite, Galileo is a reality, and Europe has its autonomy in satellite navigation.